analytical is about removing any um, any doubt and really aiming for truth. Um, and I might have it 34, but I do love, love, love this theme. And some of my um, most beneficial partners um, professionally and personally have had analytical. So I'm thrilled that we get to dive into it today. Alphabetically, it kicks off our strategic thinking themes. So it is the first that we're going to dive into in the strategic thinking domain. So before I dive too far into analytical, I just want to give some love for all of the strategic thinking themes. Sometimes I will uh, take the liberty as I'm explaining what these themes are about to replace the word strategic with the word critical um, because strategic itself is one of our themes. Um, it is the name of the domain. It's not going to change, but I do think sometimes adding other words there helps people think about it. Really what all of these themes summarize is a way that leaders lead that is primarily about thinking in their head. I was um, had a great conversation with a friend last week and she was telling me that she felt like uh, she was being selfish anytime that she was blocking out time at work to do some research about an important project. And we really dove into it. And it was amazing because she had a bunch of those thinking themes, but it didn't feel like it was an okay and acceptable or maybe a very popular or common thing to do to really need to spend some time thinking. And I think regardless of which of those strategic thinking themes you lead with, it's important to give yourself some grace and understand that for you, if you lead with some of these thinking themes, that thinking is synonymous with doing and that you will be so much better for others when you give yourself that time to process things through in your mind. Now let's go directly into analytical. This theme is really about uh, a, a challenge that I think analytical brings, a challenge in a gracious sort of warm way when it's been when it's being used in, in really excellent leaders, that challenge is to prove it. Show me what you're claiming is true. Or show me what we are pursuing is worthwhile or is accurate. Um, if you dive into that companion guide, the first thing you'll find is our long definition. That's what I think about when I think about really going to the source. And so it's fantastic that it's right there for you on that companion guide. Just a few points that I highlight in the long definition here. It's not about destroying other people's ideas. It's not about, uh, it, you know, putting a pin in a balloon of emotion. It is about insisting that theories be sound. And I think about that as an aspect of, of great partnership or how can that benefit or serve other people. It's a fantastic way to really build I think build a strong foundation on the ideas that people have. So folks with high analytical might see themselves as objective, dispassionate. Um, very often we get, I think the quick characterization of analytical is to say, oh, they like numbers, they like data. That's probably a symptom of liking truth. Um, but, but there is something wonderful about data to folks with high analytical is because uh, the data tends to speak for itself. It's not about sifting through any bias or sifting through any um, sort of sub subjectivity. It is the quickest, um, the quickest avenue sometimes to an answer is to take a look at data. There's not an agenda to it. Um, and if you'll read in the long definition, it says armed with these data, you can better search for patterns and connections. And a lot of analytical is about that search, that looking for how does, um, how does what we're claiming speak to what is, what is accurate, what is reality. You peel the layers back until gradually the root cause or causes are revealed. So another piece that I love about analytical is that understanding of if then or of cause and effect. Others might see you as logical or rigorous. A couple other words that I wrote down as I was um, speaking with folks with high analytical and also listening to a really great season one uh, of analytical, critical, curious, skeptical, uh, search for understanding. The word consider comes up a lot. Uh, refine and and the word data or the word even error. I think uh, to somebody with high analytical talking about error doesn't have a negative context necessarily. It has a curiosity context. Um, so as you can see, there's a lot that goes into this theme, plenty to dive into and fall in love with. 
Now let's talk about what it looks like in leaders. So if as an individual, analytical is seeking understanding through fact, then as a leader, it can be that dispassionate approach to creating a shared understanding, not just how do you process, but how then can you help others process? It is about noticing patterns, about discovering cause and effect, which means discovering relationship. Um, it's about sorting between evidence in search of that pursuit of truth or that pursuit of reality. I think when you think about this um, in really great leaders, it can mean fearlessness in times when, when situations are very emotional or when emotions can lead us to a feeling of instability. When you're the person who's saying, let's peel back the layers, let's look at what's really happening, that can come across as a lot of courage or even, even a sense of fearlessness. Um, I think of analytical as being the ability to in the in the in a stormy situation emotionally analytical can really help us cling to facts cling to proof um, I was reading a, a brand new book from the library to my two-year-old last night it's called sweet dreams curious George a classic George is a monkey um, and he read a book before he went to sleep about chicken little which if you're familiar with chicken little chicken little thinks the sky is falling and then of course in this story George can't go to sleep because he thinks the sky is falling his friend, the man with the yellow hat, takes a great analytical approach and he takes him outside and sets up a telescope and they look at the sky. And it hit me this morning as I was thinking about analytical that it was a really great way to say, I'm here, I'm present with you in your emotional turmoil and I'm going to help you through it by helping you see fact. And I think about that in a leader as the ability to not discard emotion, but to use emotion as a starting point for new discoveries that perhaps we wouldn't have made if we would have stayed in that emotional place. So in the end, George discovers that there are constellations and that there's more that he can study. He also goes to sleep, which as I was reading this to a two-year-old who doesn't sleep, I was kind of worried that we had taken a detour. But <laughs> in the end, his emotions are settled and he discovers a new passion for, for looking at the stars. And so I think about that as a a real gift that analytical can give to someone being able to say there is reality here there's more that we can learn that we don't know yet and there's something that we can sort to that's going to help us sort of weather the storm of 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 maybe some other pieces that are a little bit less fact-based this idea of being critical or skeptical, um, I think it's, you can be trusted not to be swayed by hunches or feelings alone. And I say alone on purpose. You can be trusted to listen, I think, to hunches, to follow them, but also to follow them um, in pursuit of, of what's accurate. And so it's not discarding hunches, it's not discarding feelings, it's using them as a starting point or as a clue, um, as, as some, some evidence that you can gather. Reducing to its essence is probably my favorite uh, phrase that Kurt Liesfeld used to describe analytical. He would often say boiling down to an essence. Um, and and, and I, I, I think about that when I think about analytical. Um, it, it's, it's not just communicating what needs to be communicated, but it's also I, the expansion of that. If you're a leader with analytical, think about communicating when communication needs to happen and also how. I would say what, when, and how are three perhaps different levels of expertise on how you can be an effective leader um, around communication with analytical. A lot that you can think about, a lot that you can boil down. So there's a lot of thoughtfulness, precision, honesty. Um, and again, it's that strategic thinking theme. So spending time boiling things down, spending time in that thoughtfulness is, is essentially leaning into that talent. Um, I think I would encourage you, if you're a leader with high analytical, to study your own analytical. Lean into it and, and analyze it. Get curious about how you do your best thinking. Often I'll ask leaders in a coaching situation, who helps you do your best thinking? Uh, when have you felt the most confident? Uh, how can you work something, it's one of those answers, into a daily practice? Uh, for Depending on your other themes, it might have something to do with other relationships. It might have something to do with pressing deadlines. It might have something to do with research. Um, but really get curious and allow yourself to personalize your answer to some of those questions of, of when you feel uh, that you've done your best thinking. 
The last thing that I'll cover is our needs of followers, and then I get to introduce um, one of my favorite analytical partners here in just a moment. A leader might use the analytical theme to build trust by this idea from that I took from seventh grade algebra called Show Your Work. When I was in seventh grade, the worst thing that you could do was answer um, an, al an algebra test without showing how you had gotten to the answer that you got to. And I think sometimes it's necessary for uh, leaders with analytical to do a little bit of that. So much of it might happen inside your head. It's not necessarily about that influencing piece about getting it out of your head or affecting you know, how other people feel. So from time to time, it might be not only necessary, but fascinating to others for you to think a little bit about how did I come to this conclusion? Um, and in many ways, we say similar things about trust and, and all 34 themes is really building that reputation of thoughtfulness um, by showing people that you didn't just follow a hunch, but maybe giving people a taste of what you went through in order to come to the conclusion that you did. I, um, in, in a book I, I recently read, I heard um, compassion described as an absence of judgment. And I think about um, leadership and analytical and compassion as the ability to talk about success objectively. Um, perhaps that leads to more inclusiveness. Perhaps that leads to more understanding. Perhaps that leads to relationships that you wouldn't otherwise build. But I think about that, um, the ability to hire and to introduce people to teams from somebody with high analytical, you can do that without um, it's sort of getting blinded by your gut reaction to a person, really looking for what does excellence look like and describing that outside of somebody's resume, uh, I think can be a, a fantastic description of compassion as that absence of, of being too quick to judge. A leader might use analytical to provide stability by getting to know your own tipping point for confidence. How much data do you need to feel like you can provide stability to others? How much time do you need? What kind of questions do you need to ask? What kind of experiences do you need to have? So discover that point for yourself of when you feel most confident. That will enhance your ability to provide stability to your followers. And the final theme we talk about uh, creating in your followers is hope. So I think about um, analytical being a great uh, idea around hope by being able to provide measurements of success for the people who follow you. Think about describing the future in milestones. Include that ability to connect cause and effect. If we can sell 10 more widgets, that will enable us to create XYZ, which will enable you to have a better future. Um, I, I think about uh, that the necessity to measure, to look for improvement, and that propensity to look for truth. Sometimes truth comes back to measurement. So analytical is uniquely, I think, positioned to create some really uh, concrete hope <laughs> in, in, in its followers. There's my quick overview of what analytical looks like and why you should love it in leaders in your life.